How's it going? It is Sheldon here, and I'm going to give you a brief introduction of how to use CompassionIsInAction.com and what it does. So he, we are here on the homepage, and as you can see, it is a list of actions that you can do, of uh, vegan actions that you can do. So um, we can click on one here. This is just an example. Uh, the author is Animal Justice, an organization here in Toronto. So uh, in this case, it is a petition, so you can click here to sign the petition, and it will bring you there. Now, you can interact with this action in various ways. I won't go through them all because this is just a super brief introduction. So um, that's the main aspect of the site is it's a list of actions that you can browse and see what you want to do next. Everything big and small. Now, on your profile, how could you, you use this if you are a vegan organization or an individual that has a following and uh, you have a lot of activism ideas that you give to your followers a lot well what this does is you can this is a nice hub for all your actions and you can uh, follow up with your actions and you can see a history of all your actions you can just keep track and organize so uh, here just as you can see you can click on your created action so this is all the created actions from this user and um, yeah you can and in there you can see how many times they've been done um, this is kind of like a a dummy one so there's no completed stats on this one right now but you can change the target right now it says 10. Um, this is a, a score that people give to this action after they do it uh, some reviews and stuff like that anyways so this is if you're a uh, vegan activist and you have a lot of activism ideas this will keep track of them very nicely for you even if you're the only one on the site it will still be useful for you um, okay now so that is that now what else does it have <clears throat> the other feature is a list so if you click on this button here you can add it to one of your existing lists or you can make a new list you can also browse lists so lists are very useful if um let's say you have people that are asking you hey what can i do you know i really want to help out what can i do give me a list of things i can do you can say oh i actually have this list prepared i've already done this and you can share the link to this exact list so um, you could see you could also do this for if you have um, if you're doing um, festivals or or I don't know you have a, a, a you're having a birthday party with a bunch of vegans and you're like oh yeah there's three actions we can all do uh, let's all update our email addresses let's all buy a new piece of vegan clothing or whatever it is okay uh, you could have that list and share that list with your friends um, if you have a festival you could print a list of actions on your tickets and say, hey, everyone who comes who uh, to my festival who does these three actions gets a, uh, a free beverage or something like that. Okay, so that's the feature of lists. It works, it works very similar to YouTube playlists. Okay, so, um, and then finally, the last kind of thing that you can do is you can actually, you can go to other users' profiles and see all the actions they've created. So if there are organizations on here that you really like and you wanna be up to date with all their actions that they post, you can visit their profile and you can see all of the actions from that user. Wonderful. That's the short intro. Thank you so much. Peace.